Hey there, Kids Church, it's Miss Amy. Welcome to this week's online Kids Church. We have been working so hard at in-person Kids Church to learn more about the Bible. Today in online Kids Church, we're going to look more into our 50-word Bible lesson. But first, let's do this. It's time now for our opening prayer, the Johnny Appleseed song. So have your big singing voices and follow me as we sing this prayer together. Oh, the Lord's been good to me. And so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need like the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord's been good to me. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Did you know that if you were to open up a Bible, you would find 66 books in it? We should think of the Bible as a library because a library is full of books, just like the Bible is full of different kinds of books. There are so many. There's books about law, history, poetry, prophets, Jesus, letters, and so much more. I always remember that there are 66 books in the Bible because I am reminded that there is a special highway called Route 66. And it goes from California all the way up to Chicago. You might have been on Route 66 before. You know who's really been on Route 66 before? Lightning McQueen from the Disney movie Cars. His home in Radiator Springs was right in on Route 66. If you have ever visited Disneyland and California Adventure, you might have been on Disney's version of Route 66 in Cars Land. So let's be reminded that the Bible is a library which has 66 books in it, just like Route 66. Thanks, Lightning McQueen. The Bible is such a big library with so many books in it, it may seem too scary to read. But did you know that we can read the Bible only in 50 words. That's right. If we read the 50 word Bible, we can get a hint to what the entire library of the Bible is all about. Now, of course, there's lots more in those stories than just those 50 words, but this gives us a good idea of what is inside that library. Can you count to 50? If you want to try, go ahead and pause the video and count from 1 to 50. If you think you're so good, why don't you try doing it backwards? 50 to 1. Pause the video and I'll meet you on the other side. If you usually come to in-person Kids Church in Ridgecrest Sundays at 1030, you already know that we haven't made it through the 50-word Bible yet. We have only read about 16 words of the 50-word Bible so far. So we have read eight stories that go with the Bible. Today, we're going to go through those eight stories as a recap. Let's see if you remember them all, or maybe it's new to you and you have never heard of these eight stories before. In the beginning, did you know that those three words are the first three words of the Bible? That's right. It's because in the beginning talks about how God created everything. And for the 50 word Bible, the first two words are God created. This is the first story in the Bible found in the first book of the Bible from the book of Genesis. 
Here, we see that God created everything from the galaxy to the earth to the birds in the sky to the people on land. God is our God of creating. God creates beautiful, interesting things full of wonder and we can do our part by protecting and caring for God's great creation and know that we too can be creative and add beauty and interesting things full of wonder to this world too. One of my favorite places of God's creation is the beach. What's one of your favorite places of God's creation? Pause the video and either share with the people around you or draw or write it on some paper. Do you know who the first people were that lived on earth? Their names were Adam and Eve, and they lived in a beautiful garden with God here on earth. The story goes that God told them that they could live freely in this awesome paradise and be in charge of all the land and animals as long as they followed one rule to not eat the fruit from one specific tree in the garden. Well, you probably know how that went, and Adam and Eve ended up disobeying God's one rule and ate a piece of that forbidden or off-limits fruit. That's why the next two set of words in our 50-word Bible is Adam ate. When they did this, this saddened God that Adam and Eve chose to do what they were asked not to and God asked them to leave the Garden of Eden and never come back. This story helps us to remember that God wants us to follow the rules and that if we choose to break those rules, there are consequences to our choices. Have you ever broken a rule? Pause the video and talk with those around you about what happened after you broke a rule. Or you could draw or write it down on a sheet of paper. Have you ever heard of a giant boat in the Bible? Well, that's where we see this story, Noah's Ark, in our 50-word Bible. It is a story in Genesis where God instructs Noah to build the biggest boat ever to hold his family and all the animals of the earth and to save them from a coming flood that would pour over the entire world. Noah's Ark is a story of listening to God and doing what he says and caring for creation. Noah listened to God by building the boat. And also Noah cared for creation by tending to all the animals while in the ark. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise or covenant to us that he will never again flood the entire earth. Pause the video and draw the best rainbow you can to be reminded of this symbol of promise from God. Or if you want, write a simple story about the rainbow being such a symbol. We have made it halfway through our 50 word Bible so far. And the next story is about Father Abraham found from the book of Genesis. In the 50 word Bible, we can memorize this as Abraham's oath. An oath is a promise. And Abraham promised God that he would lead God's chosen people. 
the next story is about Abraham's grandsons, Jacob and Esau, and how Jacob fooled Esau into giving him his birthright and his father's blessing. This is a really interesting story about two twin brothers found in the book of Genesis. Jacob grows up and has many sons. One of them is named Joseph. Jacob gives Joseph a beautiful rainbowed colored coat. But Joseph's 12 brothers don't like that. And Joseph ends up as a slave worker for the Pharaoh in Egypt. But don't be too worried because Joseph ruled in the story. And it's a story about how he overcame all of that. Joseph is an inspiration to us because he listens to God and follows what God asks. The second to last story is Bush Talked. And this book is found in the second book of the Bible, the book of of Exodus. This story is where God spoke to Moses through a bush that was on fire. God needed to get Moses' attention because he had something important to ask him. The last story in our recap video is Moses balked. And to balk something is to really not want to do it. After God spoke to Moses through a burning bush, he commanded that Moses go to Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh to let God's people go because they were working for Pharaoh as slaves. Moses was so scared to do this request of God that he balked at it. But in the end, with God's help, Moses found the strength and courage to face Pharaoh. And there's a happy story because in the end, Pharaoh did let God's people go. Well, we did it, Kids Church. We went through the first 16 words of our 50-word Bible. Let's recap and say them together. Repeat after me. God created. God created. Adam ate. Adam ate. Noah arced. Noah arced. Abraham's oath. Abraham's oath. Jacob fooled. Jacob fooled. Joseph ruled. Joseph ruled. Bush talked. Talked. Moses balked. Moses balked. I sure hope to see you at in person Kids Church. We don't meet on holiday weekends, but every other Sunday at RUMC at 10 30 on Sundays. Be sure to bring a backpack, your Bible, and a bottle of water. Join me now as we say together the closing prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our kingdom come, our will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you next time, Kids Church. Bye-bye. God loves you.